Hi, uh, I eventually managed to fulfil my goal of a double booster landing like the Falcon Heavy and uh, I want to share it with you and show you how to do it. To do it I use my booster guidance mod which can now control multiple vessels. So firstly let's make the Falcon Heavy rocket. I'm using the SpaceX launch vehicles mod from Space Dock which is extremely good and uh, covers many um, SpaceX parts um, beyond the Falcon 9 rocket. Um, so firstly we're going to make a second stage. Um, I'm not going to be too concerned with this because we're not um, really trying to control and fly the second stage. We're mostly concerned with getting the boosters back to land. So we'll put a kind of uh, put the upstage fuel tank and we'll put some sort of dummy payload. Um, stupidly I took quite a while to decide on this. Uh, are we going to have the Science Junior? Are we? I don't know. Actually the payload does look stupidly small but uh, never mind. Uh, let's now stick a Merlin 1D full thrust engine on. That's the most advanced one with the most thrust. Um, now we're going to need an interstage. This will act as a, a um, stack separator as well. For some reason it doesn't seem to join up right, so we're going to need to do a bit of adjustment there. Um, it includes RCS, so we're going to need to add RCS. Let's make a bit of space for the main part of the rocket. So, full thrust main fuel tank and then we're going to need to add the octaweb and stick the Merlin engines onto there I seem to have multiple Merlin engines from different mods here which is uh, rather confusing Okay, I'm splicing together a few videos here, so don't be surprised at the launch clamps appearing. Because uh, I messed this up a few times. So we need to add grid fins. We're going to stick four grid fins on. We're going to make a central core, and then we're going to duplicate it another two times to make the uh, the uh, side boosters. Um, so we're sticking some RCS on here. Uh, I messed around with the positioning to make it look neat. Um, right, we need to find some landing legs now. Oh no, we stick a uh, booster camera on as well, so we can get some nice views. Okay, let's find the landing legs, we need four of them. I was a bit unsure about exactly where they join on, how far down they go. Right, now we need some kind of um, radial stack separator. Ah, oh, the one thing I missed was we need some kind of drone core um, to control these uh, boosters. So some reason this doesn't seem to stick on at the right place so I'm going to uh, just adjust that down and then this booster doesn't fit on to the second stage doesn't fit on too well on some builds you know I didn't have these problems sometimes I did so perhaps I'm doing something wrong now I don't know I wanted to duplicate the whole rocket now, but um, we can't because um, because of the, the the way the route is the whole is the whole rocket. And then I got this horrendous problem with the second stage not fitting on right. Um, okay, move it again, and it 
and goes up the side eventually it kind of works I had my doubts about whether this would actually work when we fly it okay so we'll now copy that uh, booster core and put on some radial decouplers we want two of those one for each side of course um, I pulled it out slightly to just give us a bit of a space oh my god <laughs> I don't know what was happening here Um, eventually I decided well I'll just stick it on and um, rotate it and move it back to the correct position oh, I tried to see if the um, hydraulic attachment manifold would behave any differently but it doesn't We need some nose cones now. These don't fit on right, so we'll adjust them a bit. And then we're going to sort out the staging. So we want all rocket engines in the first stage. We need to add some launch clamps for the first staging. and then we separate the side boosters after that So the SpaceX launch vehicles mod includes landing zone 1. Um, this is a very grey version because so I tried to darken the texture map um, in GIMP but it seemed to prevent it loading at all. Anyway, we can have a bit of fun driving these uh, landing zones around and positioning them. Okay, we're going to set up booster guidance with a target for one of the landing zones. Uh, because we haven't staged yet, we've got one vessel, so we can only have one target. Uh, once we separate the side boosters, I'll select one of them to aim for the other landing zone. I'm just going to tweak up the steering on the uh, aerodynamic descent it seems to make it steer more aggressively and to a higher angle uh, which it needs. I'm going to fast forward up to the boost back burn we've retained about 10% of the fuel. Okay we've been coasting for a while now um, you can see the upper apsis is about 80 kilometers which is pretty low. Um, SpaceX would normally take the boosters up to maybe 160 kilometers. Um, we're now going to separate the side boosters. Uh, the separation's really messy and we have a danger of boosters hitting each other here but they don't. Um, just using the action group to take us down to three engines. Uh, lovely you can see both boosters flying back there. So it won't be long to see the arrow drop down. It's still actually using a little bit of thrust there, but you can't really see it. Now you can see the other booster on other vessels there is now on the coasting phase. And you can also tell its error and time to landing. Okay, switch to the other booster. 
So they're both on the coasting phase with an error of about 100 meters now. They're still climbing, so they're going retrograde. That's why the engines are pointing upwards. You can see the other booster um, below there. It's about three kilometers below us. Right, we're now going to select the other landing zone. So we know where it is, we're going to select it as a target by just moving towards it there. So for the booster we've got currently selected, we're going to hover over landing zone 1, set as target, and you see it's going to change the target location there. Um, so we're now targeting each booster at separate landing zones. Just to note on the flight path, it looks like the boosters are going to miss KSC, uh, but they won't because the planet will have rotated to the east in the meantime. I'm just monitoring here how far apart the boosters are. So we're uh, they're about five kilometers distance. If they get 20 kilometers distance, one of them will be um, thrown out of the game because it's outside the physics bubble, so we don't want that to happen. It's looking like we'll be pretty good. So the other booster is about to hit re-entry burn. You should see its state change. Uh, it didn't do re-entry burn because it probably wasn't going over 700 meters per second. This booster is going slightly over 700, so it fires this engine for a few seconds. Ok, we show the targets now, you can see the predicted landing position is a bit off because it's, it's really, it previously aimed to land at the other landing zone so it's going to have to do a bit of steering on the aerodynamic descent which it should be doing now. Yeah, you can see it's steering and that red cross is moving towards the desired landing point. And this landing, the boosters landed a few seconds apart, um, and the lighting's a bit poor, but you know it did work. It's quite hard to get them to land at um, pretty much the same time. Currently depends a bit on how they steer to get onto the boost back burn. Okay, I'm going to show you a few different landings here. Here was the original landing zone texture map that was very bright. Pretty much simultaneous landing there. And here's the one I showed at the start of the video. Um, so we're going to switch between the boosters um, a little bit to see what's going on. The camera angle, angle is kind of opposite, so sometimes it looks like the target doesn't change. Uh, look carefully, you can see it is changing. The one thing we have to do is deploy the landing gear and we're just checking whether the um, looks like it's going to land in the right place unless I need to see if I need to tweak the gains. Um, yeah, I up the landing burn gain to just make it steer a little bit there. I don't think that made any difference because it was a little bit too late anyway. Okay, that's down. The landing gear is already down on the other booster and they're both down. Well I hope that helped you relive that first Falcon Heavy flight by SpaceX. I'm going to just show a few other attempts of mine with different rockets to land two boosters. Here they were aiming at the same place. Um, I tried it with a smaller rocket from lower altitude um, quite a lot just so I could fix all the bugs in uh, booster guidance. So that's this happening. So thanks very much for watching. 
I'd love other people to try this and uh, prove that the mod works reliably enough for others.